All right, Ruthless fans, uh, some good news. Uh, well, this is for Ruthless and Oval fans. Uh, number one, remember that May 6th, which is this upcoming Wednesday, will be the return of the Oval for episode 13. Now, we're not getting two episodes as promoted, you know, over the past couple months. I don't know the reason why. All I know is instead of getting episodes 13 and 14, we're getting episode 13 at 9 p.m. And then at 10 p.m., we're actually going to get Ruthless episode one, the pilot episode. So we're going to get one new episode of the Oval at 9 p.m. Then at 10 p.m., we're actually going to get Ruthless on television for the first time ever. Now, I think this is like a sneak peek of BET Plus saying, Hey guys, if you like the Oval, then you need to check out uh, check out the spinoff series, which is only available on BET Plus. So I don't want people to think that just because we're airing episode one on Wednesday, that every Wednesday at 10 o'clock is going to be an episode of Ruthless. No, this is just for promotional reasons. And I think that actually makes a lot of sense because a lot of people, especially after Sisters this past week, or excuse me, this week, um, will be watching the Oval. And then, hey, let's give you a sneak peek of the spinoff series. So I think this is a good idea. Uh, for me personally, some people have been asking, Jeremy, how do I feel about, oh, excuse me, Jeremy, how do you feel about only getting one episode instead of two? For me, it actually works because, you know, from again, this is me as a person that does this full-time reviewing the shows. It's a lot less pressure for me because think about it this way. If we would have gotten two episodes of the Oval back-to-back -back Wednesday, that means I wouldn't have been able to do, I wouldn't be able to do a trailer breakdown for episode 14 because of the fact that episode 14 would have come right after episode 13. Not to mention any kind of theories that I could have done from episode 13 could actually happen now because episode 14 is going to be a week away. So let's say, for example, two or three things happen on Wednesday night's episode that I could do theories about. But then in episode 14, if it did come on directly at 10 o'clock, that would have just debunked everything or answered the question. So for me, it's a heaven sent because that means more content for me to do, even though I understand it being um, frustrating for people who have BET Plus and it's like, I already watched Ruthless. So why can't I get that second episode at all? I think it's good because the more people who watch, uh, you know, Ruthless, the more Tyler Perry might be enticed to do a season two. I don't know if the Ruthless is going to get a season two. I really don't know. I don't know if all the questions will be answered within season one mm -hmm, because Tally's still alive and she shouldn't be, but that's going to be his own video. But yeah, just a quick reminder, guys, this upcoming Wednesday, May 6th, we're going to get Ruthless on television for the first time because if I'm not mistaken, um, when Ruthless first dropped on BET Plus, we got the first three episodes, but then episode one was available on, I believe, Amazon Prime. And I want to say Apple TV. Yeah, it was those two formats. And some people posted to YouTube, but then they got deleted. And it wasn't me because trust and believe, if you've been on this channel long enough, you know I don't do that due to copyright. So with that being said, um, I will catch you all in the next video. But of course, you know, Oval stuff will be coming after the Oval airs. But let's see what happens. But aside from that, looking over everything, that does it for this particular video. And one last time, I'm going to say it. 9 p.m. on Wednesday is the Oval. 10 p.m. is episode one of Ruthless. Will I watch Ruthless episode one? Probably not because I've, I've watched it like twice and I've, I've done my videos on it. So, heck, maybe having Ruthless on television will bring more people to the channel to watch my Ruthless playlist. So that's a good thing. But you know the drill. If you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button and the bell notification icon. That way you don't miss out on any new content. On top of that, if you haven't done so already, Make sure you check me out on social media. Links to all that good stuff are in the description below. We are less than 800 people away from hitting 20,000 followers on Instagram. So make sure you help me make that happen. Um, shout out to the patrons over on Patreon. You can join in the fun for as little as $2 a month for content I post there that I don't post here on YouTube. And of course, if you'd like to donate, which is not mandatory, you could do so on either Cash App or PayPal. So with that being said, what are you most excited to see in this upcoming episode of The Oval on May 6th? And with that being said, see you around and I hope you have a great weekend. It's actually a beautiful day outside, but since I was out for like five hours yesterday running errands and all, I'm needing the day to kind of clean and do videos because I have a long list to get done.